Jesus. Without love, we fall ill. At a woman's breast, love and hunger are crossed. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. Every normal person is really only partly normal. A woman should soften, but not weaken a man. A husband is almost always only a substitute for the beloved man, and not this man himself. Limitation in the possibility of enjoyment raises the value of the enjoyment. We are never so defenseless as when we love and never so helplessly unhappy as when we lose the object of love or his love. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. When people marry, they no longer live for each other as they did before. They live with each other for someone third, and dangerous rivals soon appear for the husband, the household, and the nursery. We enter the world with loneliness, and lonely leave it. The voice of the intellect is quiet, but it never tires of repeating, and listeners are found. Only the complete absence of sex can be considered a sexual deviation. Everything else is a matter of taste. People are more moral than they think, and far more immoral than they can imagine. We do not randomly choose each other. We meet only those who already exist in our subconscious. All people are born bisexual and later choose their sexual orientation depending on their life's circumstances. Time spent with cats is never wasted. Friendship is an art of keeping distance while love is an art of intimacy. Most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility and most people are frightened of responsibility. In the small matters, trust the mind. In the large ones, trust the heart. A man is sometimes more generous when he has little money than when he has much, perhaps to keep from thinking he has none at all. The energetic and successful man is the one who succeeds in transforming the fantasies of desire into reality. A man should not strive to eliminate his complexes, but to get into accord with them. They are legitimately what directs his conduct in the world. The only shame in masturbation is the shame of not doing it well. Everyone owes nature in death. Maturity is the ability to postpone gratification. We adults don't understand children because we don't understand our own childhood anymore. Who lacks sex speaks about sex. Hungry talks about food. A person who has no money, about money. And our oligarchs and bankers talk about morality. Civilized society is perpetually menaced with disintegration through this primary hostility of men towards one another. The secret of the human soul lies in the psychic dramas of childhood. Get to the bottom of these dramas, and healing will come. Masturbation is one of the primary abodes, the primary addiction. Subsequent addictions, alcohol, tobacco, morphine, are only its substitutes. There is no need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. History is just new people making old mistakes. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Depression is a frozen fear. From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. When one does not have what one wants, one must want what one has. The best is always the enemy of the good. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. No mortal is capable of keeping a secret. If his lips are silent, his fingertips speak. The trail oozes from him through every pore. 
Happiness is a child's dream, fulfilled in maturity. All family life is organized around the most damaged person in it. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or the deepest despair. Recognizing a problem is half the success in solving it. How bold one gets when one is sure of being loved. People in general are insincere in sexual matters. They do not openly display their sexuality, but rather hide it by putting on a tight coat sewn from a matter called lie, as if it were bad weather in the world of sexual relation. Envy is destructive. Don't be tempted by it. Live by your own rules. Religion is a universal compulsive neuroses. Nothing costs so much in life as illness and ignoring an illness. We are so made that we can only derive intense enjoyment from a contrast and only very little from a state of things. A joke makes it possible to satisfy a lustful or hostile instinct despite an obstacle in its path. The first human who hurled an insult instead of a stone was the founder of civilization. All adaption is partial death, the disappearance of a particle of individuality. Perfect, eternal, a purified love exists only between the addict and the drug. The scope of one's personality is defined by the magnitude of that problem which is capable of driving a person out of his wits. We seek more to take suffering away from ourselves than to gain pleasure. The mind is like an iceberg. It floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. You do not stop looking for strength and confidence outside, but you should look inside yourself. They have always been there. One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. The most important part of your life is to understand yourself from the inside. If youth knew, if age could. Thought is action in rehearsal. The more perfect a person is on the outside, the more demons they have on the inside. The only person with whom you have to compare ourselves is that you in the past. And the only person better you should be, this is who you are now. Avoid women who talk a lot about sex, because often they have gotten a psychological breakdown from the lack of it. Experience teaches us that the world is not a nursery. The first indication of stupidity is a complete lack of shame. Before you diagnose yourself with depression or low self-esteem, first make sure that you are not, in fact, just surrounded by assholes. A woman will never want sex with a man who doesn't get her hints. Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. One day you will regret that you did not hear these quotes earlier. Do not lose the opportunity. Watch our next video.